बोलो मैं ये Benjamin Kokoro Adirunmu was a widely known blind minstrel from Lagos, Nigeria. He was born into a polygamous royal family in Owo, Ondo State, and became blind when he was aged 10. A jealous stepmother was said to have been responsible for his condition. While his blindness altered his formal education, refused to be beaten by life's adversity, and developed his unique art of singing to the accompaniment of tambourine to support himself. He developed a unique style of singing accompanied first by a drum, later by a tambourine. He moved to Lagos in 1947, where he became exposed to major local musicians such as Ainde Bakari, Bobby Benson, and Victor Olaya. In the 1960s and 1970s, he featured regularly on federal and local radio stations and was widely respected for the depth and wisdom of his lyrics. An early pioneer of juju music, he sang in Yoruba about love, money, conflicts, and urban decadence. He had wide influence on other musicians. <laughs> Cipran Equency wrote a fictionalized version of his life in his novel For Adolescence, The Drama Boy. He performed in many cities in Nigeria and overseas, but was exploited by people who took advantage of his blindness. Often he was homeless playing on the streets to make ends meet. Kokoro performed for close to 60 years, but never released an album in his lifetime. An early attempt reportedly failed due to the foot dragging of the record companies. Benjamin Adirumu, better known as Kokoro, the unmistakable and widely known tambourine playing minstrel, died in 2009, a month to his 84th birthday. It is said that adversity will either make a man or break him, depending on how he responds to it. Kokoro's life is a clear proof that disability is not synonymous with inability. While he was never rich in monetary and material terms, Pa Benjamin Adirumu triumphed over life's challenges, as evidenced by the celebration of his life, even in death, by many from various works of life. Oh.